Hi, I'm Gia DeSantis, and this is Fisher Price 45 Friday. <laughs> I chose the B-52's Rock Lobster. The B-side is 52 Girls, and Daniel was so kind as to give me an original pressing. This is super rare. Um, the B-52's, it's funny, I was, it was 1979, and I was still in like junior high school, and I heard this song, Rock Lobster, and I was like, oh wow, that's so different from anything I'd heard before. And then I saw them perform on Saturday Night Live, and it was the first time a little girl like me, a Gentile in a very non-Gentile neighborhood um, who had been listening to sort of safe music for a long time prior to that, really understood that you could have something weird and popular at the same time, and it changed everything for me. So. Um, yeah, and it was also the first time, truth be told, that I was aware that there was an obviously gay man leading a band, and it was all revolutionary to me. Everything about this record and the performance was revolutionary to me, and I'd been like a total music head. My brother had a band in the 70s called Crossfire, and he wore a poncho. <laughs> And I thought that was crazy because everybody around me was all, like, you know, these music people. And my sister worked at Warner Brothers, so I'd go hang out there. And then B-52s were on Warner Brothers. I had access to some stuff. And years and years and years later, I worked at Warner Brothers. And I actually got to work some B-52s records as well as do an interview with the band back in the day for this music video show called Request Video that I used to work on. So I finally got to meet the band, tell them what it was was that this meant to me, and I still dig it. I don't dig it as much as 52 Girls now, but it was a totally life-altering record for me.